Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent Miniatures and tonight I'm going to be painting the Kingdom Death Lion Knight um, from my Lion Knight expansion and I'm here with my lovely husband Mike. Hey everybody. Lovely husband Mike. Saying hi. <laughs> Thanks right. for saying hi too. Yes. So um, I have here a Zenithil Primed miniature. And what I've done here is I sprayed him black and then I went over him with white. And I did mostly straight on. Um, he's got a little bit on the back, but most of my lights are on the front. Because Kingdom Death is a very dark world. They have very little light sources. So I imagine that he's got light sources coming from the one direction. So um, before I start, painting something, I try to find um, reference material. Some of you guys might re uh, recognize this guy. He's from the Magic the Gathering. Ajani, I think. Ajani, I think his name is. Hey, Genuine. Thanks for joining me. Uh, so, yes. So, this is Johnny. I liked him because he's a white lion. He's got some really cool colors. He's got, like, turquoises and browns. Um, there's a little bit of a red tone here in this one. He's got actual gold armor on. Let me get. And this lion knight has some armor, so I think I'm gonna stick with a combination of these two. And then I also printed out this guy. He's got some reds in his skirt, and again, he's got the gold armor in black. So we may we may mix it up and do combinations. So that's where I'm gonna be drawing my palette from. And when I paint, I'm gonna be starting from the inside with the skin and moving out to the outside. And I also, I got these brushes. These are called Rubloff Blinsky. They're from Russia. This is a two. I think they run a little smaller than the other brushes. I got them from my buddy on the Discord. His name is, Sh uh, ah, I blanked his name. His name is um, Death Watch. Yeah. Hey, Voodoo Mistress. Welcome to my stream. Thanks for joining us. All right, I've got this. Oh. oh, okay. Might have some technical stuff going on here. Here's a one. And this is um, a 1.5. And I, these brushes are really cheap, but I had to get them imported. My friend, from, he's, he lives in Poland. But Kirill Kanaev uses these. And I'm going to give them a try tonight. And I'm also going to be painting with scale 75. I recently, let me show you this. Oh, I'll show it to you on the top cam. Can you guys see that? Maybe? <laughs> How about this? How about that? Okay. How about that? Oh, thank you for hosting me. Hey, Monicon. That's, uh, that's my buddy from the um, By Lanterns Light Kingdom Death group. And he does streaming too, so I, I highly recommend you check him out. He's very cool. Very um, cool painter. Here's the other set. 63 colors. This set um, is not quite as bright they're super matte. They're both super matte. This one might be a little bit more um, durable. It's meant more for my gaming, the fantasy and games collection. I have both collections here. So that's what I'm going to be using to paint with. And here is my Lion Knight. So to start, and hello, Pessmat99. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who that is. And what brand are those? What brand are these? The brushes? Uh, I don't know. Somebody just said what brand are those? So. These are the the Rubloff Blinskys. They're from Russia. They're they're really inexpensive. They're like I don't know, four bucks each or something like that. But Kittle is a master painter, and these are all these are pretty much all he uses. 
and kinetic medic says ooh scale color i need to find a good place to get a set from yes um if you live in the united states go to um it's a uh, there's a facebook page i believe it's uh scale 75 us if not send me a pm and i'll i'll get you in touch with the guy who you can order them from and he would love to hear from you all right I'm going to, so I'm going to go back to my reference real quick. And if you look at. Katie Barron's now following. Ah, thanks for the follow. Okay, so do you see these, these shadows? That's what I'm going to start with. These are my undertones. And it looks like they are different colors of hands and grays. So that's what I want to start with. Yeah, the Kingdom Death art's all pretty awesome. Yeah. I think that's part of the reason why it did so well this Kickstarter. It's a very pretty game. Yeah, Johnny, exactly. <laughs> hey, Major Dodo. Major Dodo is another Kingdom Death streamer. And he is also Australian, if you are in that time zone. <clears throat> um, but he streams all, like, all the time, so... I highly recommend you follow him. He's another one of our Discord streamers. Or Drew is following. Ah, uh, thanks for the follow. Okay. So, I want to show you guys something. This, so the, if you I'm do not, Cobra. <laughs> you can see how gooey this is right now. Um, you've got to really stir up scale 75 quite a bit. Oh, wow, lots of follows. Cobra and Skunamuna. Yep. Skunamuna. <laughs> Skunamuna. <laughs> I'm just going to stir this up because it's got some of the... Some of the medium mixed. It's kind of... That's why it was being gooey. All right. And... and again, I have the white... So you're painting off to the right a little bit, so you need to be more. There you go. Yeah, that's easier for me too, anyway. Zoo Kinetic Medic is also following. Ah, uh, thank you, Zoo. I'm trying to see if he has a shirt. Yeah, he has a shirt. So I made a mistake there. I'm gonna have to take. Take that. Do you see how I just like mop that back up with my brush? If you do, if you if you don't live in Australia and your brush isn't drying on your on your brush, it's not too hard. Hmm. You to hold it lower. Oh, sorry. Frame. Yeah, just tell me. Yeah, that's good there. Um, I've just remembered something. One of the things, one of the reasonings why you want to do the zenithals, you just get, see how thin I'm making that? That way some of those shadows shine through. There we go. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this. I got this from Ben Kometz from his website. What this is, is it kind of helps you figure out what level your glaze is. So for instance, okay, so I think mine, yeah, it's probably about that. So it's a, it's a layer and it's probably on the heavy end so it's it's almost a base so that's how th that's how heavy i'm i'm applying it but still thin enough that i can see my shadows coming through 
Yeah, let me know if anybody's asking questions because I don't have my glasses on. Yep. <laughs> Our daughter's trying to sneak down the stairs so uh, she doesn't make too much noise. Yeah, they're watching TV downstairs. Now, even though I'm painting him to be white like Aijani, this these are his undertones. Those final highlights, which I can actually... for the occasional video freezes on the close-up there, folks. Yeah, know we're gonna... Going on. Which I know what's going on. It's because we're using a Wi-Fi connection for that camera. Oh. What's weird is it's not the stream itself. It's actually just that camera within our house. Okay. It could be my phone, actually. Tune, why a tune? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate it. I totally butcher some of these names. Let me see what it says. Hold on. W a y a t o o n. Okay. And I'm gonna show you in the chat. Uh, any recommendations <laughs> for add-ons for Kingdom Death Pledge? Wardrew it says that he's new to the game, never played nor even seen it. Yeah. Backing because he loves the mini minis and wants to paint them, but he wants to make sure he gets the right components to enhance the game. Okay. And uh, Farrah Roche said all of them. <laughs> yeah, well, it's really easy to go. I mean, I, I jumped down the Kingdom Death rabbit hole really hard at Gen Con. And yes, when, yeah. that's very true. And when the Kickstarter came out, I fell down even more. So... We, as a, as a family, have only been playing the core game, but we ha we currently will soon be in possession of all the current expansions. So, um, I've been told the Gorm expansion for the money is really, really fun and adds quite a bit because I guess in the beginning you end up farming a lot of lions and that gets really old fast. And since the Gorm kind of takes place um, of the, the white lion, and it's a little bit more fun that that would be a good one. And then I also think the Dung Beetle Knight, it's it's difficult, but it's such a pretty mini. And even even if you just get the expansion, it's pretty cool looking. Um, the Lion Knight is really popular. It's always sold out. That's what I'm painting right now. Um, and I think I'm really interested in the... The Disciples, which the Flower Witch, I can't remember what the name of the expansion for it is, but there's going to be a new expansion with the Flower Witch and the Black Knight. I don't know if it's the same one or not. If anybody knows, you can you can tell us. Yeah, Gorm is excellent. Dung Beetle Fella and Spiticules. I just got Spiticules, and I haven't even opened the box, but uh, um, people have told me that it's really fun, and it, I see it being painted quite a bit on... On uh, by Lantern's Light, the King of Death group. All right, so I've got my. Let me make sure I got all the little nooks and crannies on him. You guys, I don't. I don't know if you can see this in the light um, underneath the in the camera, but these these paints are just so lovely and flat, and I really like the um, the finish. Oh, I forgot all these little spots over here in, the, in between. There we go. Give it a little extra coat. 
Death chicken expansion. Oh yeah, wait. Death chicken. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's gonna be a new expansion coming out. Um, with this crazy looking thing, I think we were calling it Chimera because it looked like a mixture of a bunch of different um, current expansions. Yo. Katie Baron, um, even if you can't watch them. Currently, I, I usually upload them, and you can then you can watch them whenever you want. Yeah, I think, you know, we haven't talked about this yet, Shoshi, but I was thinking maybe we should consider doing, like, a, a occasional Kingdom Death stream on a different night and do, like, you know, channel play or something like that. Oh, yeah, I'm totally down for that. Another enemy's now following. Oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm seeing still some gaps here. I want to give this a second coat. Wardrew well, is wondering what everybody's favorite models are to paint. I don't paint because I suck at it. No, you don't suck. He yes, doesn't I suck. Yes, I do. I'm going to blame my colorblindness, even though I'm barely colorblind. But... He's barely colorblind. Yeah. Um, what's, what's been your favorite to paint? Kingdom Death. No, like which oh. one? Oh. Um big dragon thing looked pretty slick. Yeah, I've not done, I've not finished that. The one that I painted that I was, I really didn't expect to like this one, but the Dark Paladin from Kingdom Death, when I first got her in the box, I was like, this one's not for me, it's a little too dark. And then I painted her and she just came out really cool. Um, I don't know if it's possible for you to link her in, from my Instagram. I'll look for it. It's Which one is it? Instagram slash Shoshi's Minis. It's no, I know that. The Dark Paladin. She's Dark, dark Paladin. I'll she look looks for it. like a succubus. She's got little red flames around her base. Is it, how old is the picture? Not that old. Maybe like it'll be on that first. Page I can or see so. the titles. Major Dodo is now hosting your stream. Ah, uh, thanks, Dodo. Appreciate it. Definitely, if you get a chance, watch Dodo's stream. He's is fun it, to watch. Is it the Black Knight? Is that who you're talking about? Nope, Dark Paladin. It's a girl, and she looks like a vampire, kind of. She's barely wearing anything. <laughs> so she looks like a Kingdom Death model? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zoo Kinetic Medic says, I had a good time with the Gorm, and the Kingsman turned out good so far. The Kingsman kicked our butts, and so did the Butcher. The Butcher, both of those guys kicked our butts. Okay. I like metallic metals. I'm going to wait and paint that until I get some more of this stuff in here painted. And I'm going to go is. back to my reference. All right, I'm posting the Dark Paladin in the chat. Okay. I need the next stage. So I think I'm going to mix ivory with my base color. White sands. That's yellow. Of course, that's, that's the work in progress one. Where's the final There we go. Mojave oh, white. Here's the final one. Oh, dang, Shoshi. Click it. Here comes the link to the final version. <laughs> it's one of my, my, I feel very proud of this model. Hold on, cat shenanigans. Cat shenanigans, uh-oh. Our cats regularly make there, guest, yeah, guest appearances in our stream. Oh, that's beautiful. This is a beautiful, really cool, I mean, I would call it a cool ivory. <clears throat> Let's see when I start painting on it. What is this art print from? I just printed these off the web, but this is um, a Johnny Whitemane, I think is his name. A Johnny Whitemane. He's from Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I think that's right. And so uh, this is also him. And then this is... Um, <laughs> I just printed this off there. It's, I just googled lion fighter, lion man fighter, and I got these. And I'm just using them as my palette references because I, I rarely just kind of paint free form. I always have some kind of reference. Okay, I'm gonna go show you. I'm mixing uh, like a mid tone in here with these two. So I've got something in between these two. Red bunny buns following. Ha! Huh. Thanks, red bunny buns. <laughs> you wanted me to say that? 
Yep, 10 out of 10 Google search, right, Echo? <laughs> yeah, that last one is kind of funny. Okay, here's my, here's my little thing. I want this one to probably be, that's definitely light. There we go. Yeah, I would say that that's light to heavy glaze. I'd say heavy glaze. Let me show you a little bit. Maybe even a medium glaze. We'll see. We'll see how it looks on on the model. We might need to thicken it up. All right. All right. Let me know if you get any comments that I need to respond to because I'm now in. I'll give you a comment. You got it too close to your face. Oh, and to yourself. Sorry. And to the camera. It's yeah. There. Just stop moving around so it can focus. Okay. <laughs> uh, it needs to be even lighter. So. There we go. This brush is too big. This is the this is the two. This is more of a layer brush. Let me try. This is the 1.5. I think he needs a new name. Word scissor main. <laughs> Take some uh, name suggestions from the chat. Okay, so this, there we go. Can you see okay? Yep. I need a more, I'm gonna use a lighter. This is White Sands. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna have to shake it up pretty well. I got these from Reaper Mini when I went to their Reaper Con in Texas. And they're just like little pins with these cast cute. Oh, it already was open. Well, there we go. I think I've got paper towel. All right, that is much wider. The other one was good, but it was, it was like too close. All right, let's try this. gap here. I might go back and fill that at another time. And I didn't even think about it before I did the stream. And it's for our personal game, so it's not a it's not a commission item. I'm usually like less picky about our own stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know you painted that many for me like in two hours the other day. Well but, but yeah it, but it was not high level at all. I painted a tabletop level mini for him. So, Scale 75 paints do really well just layering. Um, they don't react quite the same as the P3s that I'm used to. The P P3s, I do a lot of um, wet blending and glazing, but these, these don't quite work the same. They actually work better because they're more opaque if you just layer them. All right, I'm already noticing something about these brushes. What's that? I don't know if they, they're a little um, bendy. See how, look at that, see how it bends? It doesn't snap, it doesn't spring back quite as well. And again, this is just what I'm used to, so I'm gonna go back to, this is, um, this is a Raphael Klinsky number one. As you can see, the brushes are nice and long. They spring back right away. It's just 
there's always learning curves to new tools, so maybe starting something new on a stream isn't the best idea. I think you're at a new max for current live viewers of 22. Wow, thanks for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'm just going to try to do a little cheat here and just... I'm sure everybody has done this at some point where they just stuff paint into a gap. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's bugging me, so I'll fix that later. 23 new viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Cam2 Designs is watching. Following, following me. Thank you. Thanks for the follow, Cantu Designs. Yeah, this brush is much, much more. I've got much more control with it, and I'm much more used to. I can do the the tricks that I want to with it. Getting into the music. <laughs> mm, okay. I need some darks, and I'm gonna go back to my Ajani picture. What's that? I don't know. What was that? Same thing, no? got darks really dark darks um, I'm going to probably start that with a burgundy or a brown and see how that looks oh I know what it was what was it I was looking at audio blocks because somebody was asking about it oh. and when you mouse over the audio it starts playing it <laughs> okay this is African shadow that'll make a really nice contrast to my yellow and then this yellow and turquoise is is pretty much what this color scheme is anyway. Um, I want to say turquoise, yellow, and this, um, it's sort of like a reddish burgundy. They're triadic, basically yellow, red, and blue. And triadic always, always looks good together. Thanks for thanks for watching Kinetic Medic. Zo Zo Kinetic Medic. Okay. Let's see if we can get our shadows in here without killing this. Go too close. It is? No, I Oh. Uh, it's, now that we have good camera position, it's really just highlights for me that you need like a real camera and an HDMI capture in there. Okay. That's not, that'll be in the future. Yeah. You need to go a little bit lower so it's in focus. There you go. Basically, what it do, the camera is doing is focusing on the uh, mat instead of oh, the mini. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. So the closer you keep it to the mat, the better. Well, I. I... Then my hat gets in the way. Okay, oh, you're fine. We got it. Okay. Ready. I'm I'm kind of a messy painter at first, and then I tighten it up as I go. So it may look like a hot mess right now, but as we 
further along, it'll look better and better. I'm basically just, I don't know what I'd call this. It's, um, it's sort of like wash, but it's not. I'm just kind of pushing paint around until it lands in the, in the creases. It's very much like how I used to watercolor when I was a watercolorist. Similar to two brush blending, only it's with one brush. What was that, Mike? Nothing. <laughs> Mike's playing around with sound effects. No, no sound effects. Sorry for my hands in the way for a minute. Here's where I go back and I clean up some. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show you guys a trick with eyes. I need a darker color though. Let me find one. That's metal. Hold on. There is a color in here that is an awesome color. I can find it. This is decay black. We'll try this. Um, if I can find the other color, I will. And I want Here we go. It's called African Shadow. Did I already use it? Yeah, that's African Shadow also. Alright, let's not that one though. Black leather. Let's try let's try black leather. And if I'm looking, Ajani's eyes are blue, and I think I want to keep that the same. About what time will you be getting? Because I'm heading out, and I'm going to be on the road for about an hour. Um, we're going to try to stream for at least about an hour and a half or so, maybe. About another hour. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so this color is what I'm going to use for his eyes and I want it pretty thick and opaque and I might want bare get down, the cat is on the we need the squirt bottle is what we need there <laughs> <laughs> okay now he's getting all riled up yeah now he's all crazy pants okay so when you are painting eyes this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint most of his entire eye socket with my dark color. Can you see that? Of 
And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go in and get some of his other little dark areas that I want to be really dark. We're giving the volumes. Okay. See how I created the volumes by giving, we're giving dark shadows and light lights. My daughter is trolling my stream. <sighs> That's okay. Everybody needs a troll. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. We didn't get the side dark enough over here. I, re I really want this actually much darker because I don't know why. This, this black leather is not that much different than this African shadow. It's very, it's darker, but it's about the same hue. It's, it's a red. This one has more blue in it, I think, this decay black. I'm going to give it a shot. It's also a little bit more satin. There we go. Yes, that is dark. Here we go. Slow Fuse Gaming wants to know how the night is. Hey, Slow Fuse. So far, so good. Thanks for coming and stopping by. Slow Fuse is a streamer from the, um, oh gosh, Brush Lickers. There's a Brush Lickers group on Facebook. Bunch of streamers. He's, I believe you're also in the Discord too, right? I just don't see you in there too much. All right. Starting to come alive a little bit. A little bit. Oh, okay. I didn't know. And Discord. And Discord. Long War is, is another team. Head is looking too pink. Too pink. There you go. Slow Fuse says it. He got kicked out of Brush Lickers. Oh, okay. Yikes. I don't know about all that, so I will. I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to paint the other parts of his eyes. And I want, when you're painting eyes, now his eyes are not human. So we're just gonna have the dark and we're gonna have this crescent of blue and there's gonna be a black dot or a black, we'll make it, we might make it more catty. And then, the, then there's the um, highlight reflection. There's a tiny high re re reflection. So I'm taking, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take white because I want it to be very bright. Okay. As a canvas, and I'm just going to make 
wherever the or the eye is. Lower. I'm sorry, I have to be close to this, so. Oh. Eh. Yeah, very sharp brush is necessary for precision. There, do you guys see that? See how I made a little... This is, you can do the same thing for humans. I'm gonna flip him upside down for the second part because I'm right-handed. And that's how I do it. That's how this I is do. how we do it. Yep. Wait. I'm hoping to get some new glasses that are gonna help me paint better. Thank you for Super the Jedi dude is following. Super what? Super Jedi dude. Super Jedi dude. Awesome. And I like the Jedi. Yes, Mike and I are big Star Wars fans. I need to like throw, show off my t-shirt. Yes. I'm usually wearing either Broncos or... So Mike has yeah, the Cam. Princess Leia I Love You t-shirt. And I have the Han Solo I Know t-shirt. So, show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We are very, very cheesy. Okay. Let me see how that looks. Not bad. I want to clean it up a little bit. Because it looks like the top of his eyes. Yay. Might have to go back and forth until you get it right. Okay. No bad. I'm blowing on it to try to dry it faster. There we go. There. Okay, so you can see. If I were doing human eye right now, I would then probably pick a direction because it's way easier to get the focus of eyes when you pick a direction and have them looking off to the sides than it is to try to do straight on. So a lot of times they end up looking cross-eyed or wall-eyed when we try to do them. Okay, so but this is a cat eye. So his whole eye is going to be blue. Now I need to find another color which is going to be our beautiful blue. I want a really, really bright blue. This is pretty. Hero blue. Or the fan this isn't from the Fantasy and Games set. I'm shaking it. And... Yep, that's pretty. It is, I'm going to try some other blues real quick and just to make sure. Hmm. This one is Innsmouth blue and it's, if I maybe pick, pick some um, white with it, it might be the right color also, so I'm going to experiment. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you guys my palette here. This is this blue. It's already, you can see when it thins out, it just doesn't have as much pigment in it. It's already desaturated. So I'm going to take a little bit of my white over here. And look at the difference. Alright, so that's the one I want. That's much brighter, I think. Okay. Another enemy. You ever notice how the Federation <laughs> always either went to a planet with air or made aliens sit in a room with... or wear gear with their atmosphere? Federation was mad racist. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yes, I think that was the point, right? They're supposed to be 
uh, sort of no, a fascist I, I, regime, no, aren't they? No, 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 no. Naive. I mean, that's the thing with why I, I like Star Wars better, because Star Trek is kind of a simplified oh, version Star of... Oh, Star Trek. Okay. Yeah. More simplified. Yeah. So I'm completely painting over my white canvas eyeball with this new blue color here. You can see that. Okay, and I want to look at my reference. I'm going to need to go back in and do some of this line work on his face here. I guess you would call this freehand, right? What'd you say? I said I guess you would call this freehand. He has just a little pink on his nose. I'm just going to lighten that up a little bit. Enduro Joe is now following. Oh, thank you for the follow, in Enduro Joe. And um, just so you guys know who everybody's watching, we try to we try to stream every Wednesday night at 8 central time. That's minus GMT 5, minus 5 GMT. So far we've been pretty regular. Okay. Mm. I want all my highlights in place before I start all my little delicate line work. Ooh. L. Rauch, Rauch 7. Ah, thank you for following. following. Oh, and Duro Joe says go Broncos. Ah, yay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so now I'm going to do the cat eye. Where's my reference? Here we go. Um, Pharaoh Roche wants to know if you're going to put the tribal tattoos on. Oh. Does he have some? Maybe his face around his eyes. Yeah, around his oh, eyes. Oh, all of that. Those um, lion stripes. I'm going to definitely... I guess if those are his tattoos, I'm definitely going to try to get those in there. Yeah. Something close to that I'm definitely going to do. Because this is a Johnny. Johnny White Mean. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny White Mean. Okay. Ooh, that was an accident, but it looks kind of cool, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, can you see that? I gave him his pupils are too 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 big. But up close, it looks really good. I'm getting there. All right, let's see. We got some, we're going to do some of these little tattoos, as they say.
it's not this one's not easy because his face is all squished up and I guess it I guess it is on both of them because he has missing one eye I didn't realize that until just now but that's okay my Ajani is not missing an eye I guess I could I don't know we'll see I might change my mind I just realized it's gonna need a lot more highlights for this to look white. But something, um, if you have ever watched me paint, I'm kind of all over the place. I, I'm very organic and um, just paint things as I go until it's done. that other eye. Might need to clean that one up. A little bit dark. I'm gonna thin this one out. You're not telling me what the chat's saying. Please. They're saying nothing. Okay. <laughs> Please. Uh. Uh. Uh, chat room say stuff so like oh, no <laughs> that's not funny okay so we need more of these he's got his eyes are really black I mean I have to thin a lot of that out. How's that look, Mike? It looks good. Okay. I'm gonna give him a little. I don't know if I can do this on the stream or not. Let me see if I can. Little bitty tiny reflection dot. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Hang on. Try it with 
with this brush. Super Jedi Dude wants to know if you airbrushed this to prime this one. And um, KD Baron wants to know what uh, you have on your list of minis to be painted in the future. So I don't know what commissions you've got coming up here. It's tax season for us here in yeah, the United sure. States. So <laughs> um, yeah, I and I do our taxes. So she's got to do that a little bit. But um, that's part of the reason why I think she's painting a Kingdom Death mini of our own tonight because uh, she needs to do that before she gets too much into her next commissions. <laughs> I um, I'm gonna be painting another Necromancer, which if you follow the stuff that I've been posting on the Bylanders Live Facebook group. Um, I've already painted one, but the next one I'm going to be painting is going to be much closer, much closer to the art card artwork. And, um, let's see, what else am I going to be doing? I'm going to be painting another Black Knight. Um, I'm going to be painting a Canoness Viridian from Games Workshop. And a one guy wants me. The guy um, commissioned me to paint his Magnus. May want me to paint an Armin, but um, that hasn't been arranged quite yet, so I don't know for sure. That's a possibility. Um, I'm gonna be. I think my next commission is actually a, a Kitsune. Or Kitsune, I think. I'm not sure how you say it. But it's like got nine tails. And it's by Everyman Games. It's a small publisher. Thank you. Small Cave Studios hosting with 16 of their own viewers. Oh, thanks, Small Cave. Hey. He's um, another... Wait, he's another Twitch streamer. And yeah. you should follow him. He's very cool. Uh, what's the Necro you were talking about? The Necromancer is from Kingdom Death. And you can you can um, post the link to the one in yep, my from yeah he's gonna be looking for finding that now I don't know if you guys can tell this but this is not very super blended and it still looks nice because it's high contrast and when it comes to my own Kingdom Death minis I tend to be very loose and very painterly um because i really i'm not a patient painter and when it comes to my own stuff done is better than perfect done is my favorite style <laughs> all right so Ferro Roche. Okay. I think we might have to charge for his question. Uh oh. How do I not suck at painting and paint as well as you do? <laughs> um, no, you don't have to charge for that. Um, this is the biggest piece of advice for any painter at any level. Paint every day for at least 15 minutes. Even if it's just 15 minutes, paint every day. Michael Jordan did not get good at basketball, only shooting hoops on the weekends. So it doesn't matter if you paint eight hours on Saturday. That's not going to be as good for your muscle memory as if you paint for 15 minutes a day. You're building muscle memory and brush control, and that's what makes your painting better. And you will get better if you have that brush control. Um, and then the color, the color theory and stuff like that, that's a lot of... Again, that's just practice, and that's just hours and hours. Evan Warped is now following. Oh, thanks for following. I lost some of my mid-tone up here. Okay, how's that face look? He looks liony. I don't know. Let me get some more highlights up here. All right, now I think I'm ready for some metals. And... Hess Jerk is now following. What is his name? Hess Jerk. Hess Jerk. Okay. We're going to go... He has a cloak on. 
and I'm guessing that this is part of the collar of the cloak. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go straight to this armor because I want to show you guys my technique for gold. Where's my glasses? Here we go. All right. This is decayed metal. It is a metallic brown by scale 75. Um, game color makes a metallic brown and so does Reaper Master Series. Um, it's a very nice color to start your gold with. Okay, we're gonna shade. Doom Gunny is not following. Thanks for following Dune, Dune Bunny, Dune Gunny. Gunny. Dune Gunny. Appreciate the follows. All right, everywhere where I've got kind of gray shining through, I'm gonna put it, put this brown in there. This is this is what my speed painting looks like for those of you guys who are following cuz when I'm painting for personal it's it's done. I'd rather have done. Uh oh, I hear my daughter. You guys shush. They can't hear it on the stream. I'm telling them. I know. You oh. can't hear it on the stream. Okay. Well, I can hear it. Getting there. Ooh, that's too much paint. Get the towel. There we go. I keep a paper towel by me at all times because I, I don't like to use. I mean, once in a while I use my hand to dab paint off of, but most of the time I don't. I use the paper towel instead. Just saying, I, uh, I I push the paint into the into the crevice like this, and then I'll rinse it out, and then I'll blend it out into the rest of the model. There we go. So, which Kickstarter model are you, are you looking forward the mo to the most? Kingdom Death. Oh, um, oh, all the male pinups. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really, really, anybody who talks to me on Discord and has followed me for very long knows that I have always been a huge proponent of equal opportunity sexism. <laughs> sexualization. I wouldn't call it. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, yeah, I would call it sexualization. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, why not? Everybody... Everybody likes it. It's not always available because we don't always have um, we don't have a lot of female sculptors in the industry. A lot of um, male sculptors claim they don't know what makes a male pinup sexy or um, what makes men sexy. So or they don't feel comfortable, you know, sculpting that. But Kingdom Death has has led the way. I'm very 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 happy about it.
And then after that, it's as far as gaming models, I think, goodness, um, I to think about that for a minute. Hmm. I think probably I don't know I can't decide there's just so many that's why I had to go in and get so many of them I got every expansion, all the new expansions that are coming out. All right, so next we're going to do, ooh, that is a really pretty color. That's my, that's going to be my highlight. It's called Moonstone. That is very, very pretty. Because I want, let me look at his armor again. We've got lots of brown tones in his armor, and then it shines up really high. So I think this would be the perfect highlight for that brown. We just need a little, maybe old gold, I think. Let me see if I have something that will work. This might work. We're gonna, I'm gonna try, the, well actually, look at the differences in these. I think I'm gonna do that one. Oops, there we go, too much paint on the brush. Yeah, we we bought the core game for Kingdom Death. Oh, what was it? Before Gen Con, I know that. Yeah, I know it was or was it before I Gen Con? I got it Con? for from my friend um who she thinks she bought it in her sleep or somebody sent it to her because she doesn't know where she got it. And she was just kind of hanging on to it. And I said, hey, are you going to do anything with that Kingdom Death box? Because I had just painted the Messenger of Courage and um, one of the other um, Twilight Knights from Cool Mini or Not. And I, I was like, wow, these minis are pretty cool. These minis are really cool. So she said, no, what do you know? You want it? And I was like, uh, yeah. So she ended up selling it to me. And um, I had the box forever in my studio. And I kept telling Mike, I'm like, we, we need to play this. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just didn't know anything about it. Didn't know what, you know, what it entailed. And I didn't have any of the minis built at the tank at the time, so. Yeah, so for me, I mean, the mini minis are beautiful in Kingdom of Death, obviously, but the um, uh, the gameplay is a lot of fun. It's frustrating the first time you play it, <laughs> and probably will be frustrating many times later. But you start to get this sort of sixth sense of humor as you watch your characters. Yeah, don't get die attached. over and over again. Yeah, we got attached to some of our characters, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that wasn't as much fun. But once we realized that our characters were going to die and die often, it became a little bit more bearable. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to kind of. It's not dry brushing, but it's kind of sort of like just hit these highlights on top of that. If you can tell. There's not a lot of, this is all kind of the same color. So what I need, I think I'm going to go in here with my African shadow and see if I can pull out these, these shadows a little bit more. 
I want a flat. Actually, it needs to be blue. Let me... I'm going to try shading with a little bit of this mixed with my African Shadow. We're going to use some color theory here because blue and red make a deep purple. Uh, might not be dark enough. It's It made this really pretty gray color. I don't know if you can see that, but we're going we're gonna to attempt. And I'm going to mix a little bit more blue with it because I want those I want those colors to be blue. Yeah. Can you guys see? A little low, but there you go. Kipling451 is now following. Oh, thanks for the follow, Kipling. Again, I really appreciate it. Now, the reason why I'm using not non-metallic paint on my metallics is because when you look at something metal, where there's shadow, let me find something shiny. That's not metal. This Ring. is metal. Where there is shadow, like right there, it's not shiny. It's it's dark. And so we're creating the illusion and also the contrast of, of the flat next to the shiny makes the shiny brighter. And the, the gray against the, or this, this blue color against the yellow Actually, it gives it sort of a patina look a little bit. I think that's pretty. What kind of brushes are you using against Super Jedi, dude? This is a Raphael number one. It's actually really nice. It's brush, it's bristles are longer than a Winsor Newton. Um, and so you're able to have more water and stuff up in the brush. And so they, for me, they, they let me paint a little longer without having to go back and refresh my brush. Okay. Now I have a, I have a little tiny bit of black on, on my brush now to, to really Emphasize those shadows. You see that? All right, now we're ready for that really hot highlight. It's a big highlight because, and I don't know how that's gonna work on this, but we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna try to use this Moonstone Alchemy by Scale 75. Because the metallics from Scale 75 are Beautiful. If you like the game Air Metallics, they're really similar. They're really um, fine, fine pigments. All right, I don't know if this is going to work. This is a really light metallic. It's, I have to do many layers. Hmm. I might need to shake it more too because it's that's the other thing about this it's probably all at the bottom of this when you shake it put it this way and then go like this and then shake it like a bottle of paint there that's better shake it like a bottle of paint Okay, now let's try this again. It's still not very thick. But there we go. Mm. 
that's exactly oh look at how shiny pretty that is it's so almost so sh too shiny the lights all right let's try this showing up on camera, isn't it? A little bit. And again, the gold is similar to this, um, this yellow. The brown is similar to this red, and then I had that blue in there too, and that's, it's all harmonious, even though it's a metallic. After I do this, I might go back in there with my gold. Where is it? Here it is. Oops. Cover a little. So bit. I know NMM is non-metals. What's TMM? True metallic metals. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing true metallic. And do you mainly work with that or no? I really prefer it. I like my metals to look metallic. And have you looked worked with Liquid Gold series from Vallejo? I have, but I... Um, it's so fussy and you cannot use it with, an, with a, um, a natural hair brush. And so I just keep, I just keep forgetting to use it because it's just not convenient. All right, so there's something wrong. I need to put my glasses on to look at this. I'm just, I don't have the contrasts yet. Um, hmm, we need some more. Let's try this. So I'm, I'm just doing layers of these colors until they feel right. I need an actual brown, I think, instead of a red brown. Okay, so this is brown leather. Let's try this. And I might need to mix a little black with this. Maybe. Yeah, I think it needs black. Do you have any tips for blending TMM? Um, I just mostly layer. I when I when I blend with um, with any metals or with any paints, I'm usually blending um, stick blending or in true brush blending. You can do kind of sort of like what I call a controlled dry brush. Alright, let me try this again. That was the problem well part of the problem with the, the scale again is some of the medium will come out first. But other than that, it's a really awesome paint. <laughs> there we go. That's a beautiful color right there. So I that there's a much darker brown. I'm gonna attempt to shade. So while you're watching me, see how I, I push the color into the crevices, rinse off my brush, and then feather it a little bit. Okay. Mm. 
gonna try this. Seems to have helped a little bit. I think what needs to happen next. Alright. He's got a cloak. And I'm thinking. We might do this. It's basically black tones with red. I think that would be really striking next to his hair because we're going to go light, dark, and then light as our contrasts. So, where's my reds? Crimson. That looks very purple. This is very, very, very red. Okay, and Tari's red. This is such a beautiful red. And we've already got our black. I'm going to use a different brush. This is a Da Vinci. It's a two. It doesn't have a point to it because so, I just wore it out too bad, but it's a good layer brush. I'm going to mix um, it is the not that one. It's this black with there's another this um, African chat, or sorry, black leather. Those two together. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go into, ooh, that's more brown. I need more black. Okay, to have brown because the, the highlights are, are red. And I'm just gonna go in all the spots where my, where my shadows are gonna be. And I'm feathering it. So, this is basically one brush blending is what I'm doing here. <laughs> but I'm, I'm rinsing my brush, going back, I'm dabbing it like that. And I'm going to put red on this part. Where are we on time? Uh, we're about an hour and a half in, so we need to probably wrap it up soon. Yeah, I'm gonna finish showing you guys this cloak, and then probably gonna find a good stop spot. Okay, it's okay to have. This thinned out. I'm gonna I'm gonna thin it out up here because that's gonna be red up there. I'm avoiding those sharp lines is what I'm doing. All right, make sure my shadows are nice and nice dark. that can dry out some more. I need some more paint. And decayed. There we go. Oh, that's the metal. This one.
Gollum TV has a question. Okay. Let's hear it. Hold on. I'm going to find my glasses. Ah. No pressure or anything, but it could be the last one of the stream. Oh, no. Where's my... There they are. Let's see. No, he just said I have a oh, question. Oh, you have a question? <laughs> Go ahead and ask me. Anytime. You can just type it out. <laughs> How you position your cam to the stream. Okay. So we have... That's Mike's question. Yeah. So we have a webcam that's on a tripod that gets the face uh, shot. And then uh, we've been trying different things with the... Um, ah. Mach dir keine Sorge, ich kann auf Deutsch sprechen auch. Uh, aber, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, we both yeah. speak some German. He speaks way more than me. Aber, aber ich, nicht, ich bin nicht mehr so flüssig. Aber, ja, so. I'll go back to English. Yeah, because there's more than just one yes. person here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, for the uh, camera above the miniatures where she's painting, uh, we are using actually an iPhone streaming over AirPlay to Air Server on mm. my computer, um, and then just bringing that into the stream. Um, it's kind of nice because it's you know wireless, but also because it's wireless, sometimes it's sort of glitchy. Um, but it works 99% of the time. Um, and then for the rig, for what we have the camera mounted with, is I'm using some piping to make a little frame that uh, has some clamps and things that can adjust the height uh, to position it in the best spot as well as, you know, horizontally where the camera's at. We have a lot of control there. Okay, I'm going to attempt this. My, my red is coming out again mixed with a little bit of that. Let's see if this is going to work here. We might have to layer it many times. I need to go back to this. Yeah. Okay. I'm having a, some paint difficulties at this moment because the, the paint comes out very, it doesn't come out pigmented because the medium that comes out. I need to shake this. That's the one dis, uh, downside of these paints is they, they really need shaked. And um, one thing you can do is you can just take it take it right out like that. That makes it easier. Let's try that for this one. There. That's much better. Let's try this now. Much better. That's what I was going for. I'm basically wet blending on this. I'm not sure this is going to turn out the best, but we'll see.
She's using a black for the shadows. Black now. and brown. Yeah. A mix of both. Well, not a mix, but using both colors. Mm-hmm. I think. No, you can't be on the stream. And you can see that this web landing is very fast because it acrylics dry quickly. And see how I'm there we go. keeps purring into the microphone. Okay, see how I I took that really bright pigmented red and that's going on the area that's going to be the lightest. Ah, cat hair. <laughs> Look over your shoulder. Aww. <laughs> All right, and then yeah, Gollum. I would say Kingdom Death is kind of like Hero Quest, but very much for adults. Most of the I would art. say it's more like um, Dark Souls. Is Dark which, Souls, the video game? Yeah, the video game. Okay, you guys get the idea? Sorta? Of. Let me go back to my reference. It's much more brown on his, and you can see he's... These are much more desaturated, so I can go back later with my more brown red and I can glaze that back it's all it's always it's not a problem to I can do this too I feel like there needs to be some really high highlights, at least I'll do it like this. When you want there to be high contrast or something like this, so see how his, we've got light next to dark. I think that's probably good enough for tonight. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know when I'm gonna finish this. Do you guys want me to keep painting him for next time? Go ahead and just yeah. Any me... special requests for yeah. next painting next session? Leave me leave me a comment if you think tonight. you'd like to see me finish him. I can keep going on him. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. Gave me more warning than that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> no, just do it. I can paint while they say goodbye. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye.